Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague. Our latest installment here, we're going to be talking about a CVT and we've got Adam Newton here. Adam, what is your title with the dealership or with Toyota? So I'm a master diagnostic technician here at Fred Anderson Toyota. Okay, and how long have you been around cars? I've uh, been working on cars 24 years. Started with uh, Nissan, came over to Toyota to get with the real program. <laughs> no offense <laughs> to our Nissan people. Excellent, that's cool. So we've got a Toyota Corolla SE. This is a 2024. We're talking about CVT. What is a CVT, Adam? So CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. It's basically going to be, the core of it is going to be a belt drive system with a continuously variable set of pulleys that gives you an infinite number of gear ratios. Okay, and how long, or when did that originate, that whole technology? Toyota started with it in 2000 with their K-Series plan. Uh, they started out with a new sort of CVT transmission and they've been refining it as they go along. They've definitely made some serious advancements along the years, absolutely. That's great. You know, I see on my YouTube channel, sometimes people are like, oh, it's got a CVT. I don't like CVT cars. And I think, have you tried a Toyota one? So right. do you think there's a difference between Toyota CVT technology and maybe a different brand absolutely. just for comparison? Because other people seem to have feelings one way or the other. And I, sure. I don't know if I do, because I, I like how it rides myself. Right. Absolutely. And when I worked at Nissan, one of the chief complaints we had when we first brought out the CVT with Nissan was the slow uptake when you leave from a stoplight. It has almost like a bog effect as, as the CVT develops pressure. Mm -hmm. um, Toyota's eliminated that feeling by putting in what they call a launch gear. They actually have a standard first gear to get the car up and moving and then once it shifts from first gear it goes into CVT mode and uses the belt drive to achieve all the former all the final ratios. So the launch gear, that's what actually gets you a little bit of boost. Mm -hmm. um, I've even seen a launch gear in a, uh, in a manual too, where it, it sort of is, I don't want to say stall proof, but in a way it kind of just gets you going. Right, there. like a 10 speed bicycle would be like the easy gear. You know, that's the one that's going to get you up the hill. And after that, the car will take over with its belt drive system and seamlessly shift for you. Okay, and what would somebody feel? Let's say I just bought this Corolla SE and we've got five speed, we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 speed automatic transmission. We know what those do and they're, sure. they're relatively smooth you know less gear so it'll be smooth and things like that right um, and you can feel it sometimes so what do you feel with the CVT if so, so well, somebody's in the market for one the main mission when they developed the CVT was anytime you drive a car with a standard transmission you'll feel the gear changes and as you go through a particular gear you'll feel a surge in power at a certain part of the RPM range and CVTs are good at capturing that RPM range and keeping the engine in the what they call the sweet spot it has uh, absolutely variable uh, ratio on the transmission, so at any point in time, it can get right to the meat of the matter and keep your car where it operates most efficiently. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then what about care of a CVT transmission? Is there any type of extra maintenance or maybe service intervals that you might want to look out it for? It does have a service interval. They recommend about 30 to 60,000 miles. You want to do a fluid exchange on these. Okay. Outside of that, it's pretty standard stuff. There's not even a filter you really have to worry with on it. You just come in and we do a fluid exchange on it using CVT fluid and get it out, replace it with new, and you're off and running. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty and then simple. other Toyota hybrids have a, I guess we'll call it a form of CVT. That would right. be a, like an... Um, electrified or right e they call it the, the, exactly the ECVT and it's very similar in its way when it can achieve a lot of different ratios but since it uses an electric motor to achieve the ratio instead of a belt drive it's not considered a true CVT okay and then let's say I'm comparing a vehicle with an eight-speed automatic transmission we we'll use Toyota as an example sure. but we're also comparing a different Toyota model that might have a CVT is there anything that you might tell prospective buyers about reliability or long-term durability Anything like that with a so CVT? So far, so good. I mean, we look at a lot of repair orders here because we are a volume center, and we have seen very few failures on the CVTs. Um, as far as longevity, they seem to be a really robust system. And I think, honestly, uh, the addition of the first or the launch gear has really taken a lot of the pressure off the CVT system and its application, so it really seems to run very well. Yeah, that's one thing I like when I test drive um, something like a Corolla. You just don't even feel it shifting. It's just smooth from zero to your top cruising exactly. speed, and it's kind of a different dynamic. It's almost like wow, did that really just happen or did that not happen? <laughs> right, they had a graphic that I've seen before about CVTs where they show a ramp versus a staircase and that's a pretty good explanation of how a CVT delivers power. It's more like just a ramp instead of hopping down staircases for each gear. Oh. Now when you drive one of these, you that's will feel the effect of it having, if you have the paddle shift on your steering wheel, it does have a number and a gear that it will simulate, but it's actually just targeting a ratio as you shift the gears with the little paddle shifts on the steering wheel. That's an excellent idea for a future video. I always wonder that, like, when I'm, when I'm shifting it, let's say it goes from third to fourth, 
where am I really at in the gear and how would that translate to an actual like an eight speed right. automatic or Absolutely. something like that? So that's yeah. real interesting. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Adam. We'll be looking for your awesome. content Glad on Fred Anderson, Toyota, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube and Facebook. Thanks again. Always.